everybody. This is Gina with Stars Touch Heartfelt Healing. Thanks for joining me today. So I'm finally getting back to everyone. I had COVID from June 1st until about, well, I'd say almost the third week in June. And it was interesting because I learned a lot and I'm happy I had it because with having Lyme disease, Bartonella, Babesia, Epstein-Barr, all these different things, I had them balanced out in my body pretty good. I figured out a lot of different supplements. I asked a lot of questions and figured out, you know, how to feel the best I could feel. But then COVID came along and it kind of threw a wrench in my plan. What's happened since then? So COVID, um, when I, after I got through and I started feeling better and I had my energy back and everything, all of a sudden my knees were cracking. They were cracking so loud that, I mean, I've never heard anything so ridiculous. They were super loud and sometimes even hurt. And I thought, you know, I've never had that type of a symptom before. I never had the cracking knees with Lyme disease, even though that can be a really huge player. I didn't have it. So I had to start asking questions about what I should try. I just really didn't feel like it was, um, you know, arthritis or growing old and, and that type of thing. Because from my experience, being out of balance, um, having a little bit of one too many bacteria that are doing their own thing can create a lot of bad symptoms. And so I did go to the chiropractor and I think that's helpful. I also have been doing Reiki energy healing and I totally believe in that. I mean, making sure that all my chakras are open and moving properly. But then with it still cracking, the question is, is what do I try now? And I've put a link in the bottom description box of this video. It's a link that will help you to learn how to ask questions with your intuition and get answers from your angels and God, you know, just really quieting your mind and asking questions just like you. Would. So I'm not a doctor or a naturopath. Okay. Nothing like that. I'm just a, a normal person that's had these experiences but I've been to naturopaths that know how to do kinesiology and energy testing. And what they do is they, you know, one of them that I had uses the finger method. And this is something that we can even train ourselves on. If you have the money to go to a naturopath, absolutely. Because I mean, it's a gift to have someone say, take this many of this item. It'll help balance you out. But if you don't, I put a link in the description box. You can learn to do this. All you say is, okay, I, you put your fingers just like this inside and you say, okay, yes, my fingers will not come apart with a no, they'll come apart easily. So you just make a deal. This is how it's going to be. And then asking questions about what you want to know. Yes or no questions. Are my knees being affected by this whole COVID slash everything else in my body thing? Is it something to do with that? Can it be repaired? And the answer is yes. Is it that I'm just getting older and I have arthritis and it just happened to creep up right after COVID? No. I mean, no. So from that, I decided to go into action and figure out what to try. I have a couple ways to try things. And again, I'm not a doctor or anything. So check with your doctor. If you want to try any of this stuff, definitely find out what your side effects are, look this stuff up. I'm gonna put it all in the notes. But this is what I came up with. Resveratrol is something I've taken for Bartonella and it helped my hip pain. It's helped a lot of different things over the years. Um, I also, Japanese knotweed powder. It's the same thing as resveratrol. It's just you're looking at a caplet here rather than having to do a warm tea. Um, so I asked the question, you know, will resveratrol help my knee problem? Will it help this um, balance out? And the answer was yes. Then getting down into it, I said, okay, should I take one resveratrol a day? And it says, yes. Should I take two a day? No. So going down through all the things that I had in my, in my cupboard, I started asking these questions. The other thing that I did is I realized that when I take this resveratrol, I get a temperature. So let's say you wake up in the morning. I take my temperature in the morning. Normally it's 97.7. And usually with Lyme disease, any kind of um, bacteria kind of craziness, even COVID, the, I think that what happens is, is they go in 
these bacteria and they dial down your hypothalamus to make your body colder. And with that, what happens is, is that they can, um, they can multiply. They multiply when it's colder. And it's interesting because when they talk about COVID, they say, you know, it's worse in the winter months than the summer. And I believe it's the same situation that it, the body has to be cold in order to multiply. So with that, I just take my temperature about an hour or an hour and a half later after I do a supplement. And if I'm getting some kind of temperature, even 98.3, then I know that something's going on and I continue that supplement. And this is just my way. Whether or not it'll work for anybody else, I don't know, but I felt like I have to share it. So olive leaf extract, I take olive leaf extract. I've been taking it just as a precautionary because it helps with a viral. It helps kill, you know, any kind of viral and it'll help your immune system, boosting your immune system. But we have to ask the question, how many of these a day should I take? And that's tough because, you know, we're not doctors, we don't know. And so I say, okay, do I need olive leaf extract? Yes. How many do I take? Do I take one? Do I take two? No, just one. And so, like I say, if you can contact your, you know, if you have a naturopath or if the doctor has the answers, you know, go ahead and do that if you have the money and you have the, you know, insurance or whatever. But if you don't, it's a great way to try to, you know, train yourself to learn how to help yourself and, and get answers from God and your angels. I do it all the time and um, I've, I've made it this far. My knees aren't cracking near as loud anymore. I mean, they're a little bit, it's so much better than it was, I can't even say. And I'm gonna continue this and then I'm gonna continue updating everybody because I'm learning as I go. Milk thistle, I take this every day. I take one of these, this helps my liver to cleanse all the ickies. So when you kill any kind of bacteria or you know, if there's anything that um, you even viral, if it's sitting in your liver because it died off and it's trying to get out of your body, milk thistle really helps. Um, it helps heal your liver and it helps it so that it can function better. So I do that. I take probiotics from Swanson. It's not an expensive probiotic. I do that to really give back the good bacteria in the, in the gut. And also um, that's the other interesting thing about olive leaf extract. Olive leaf extract kills the bad bacteria, but it doesn't kill the good stuff. So uh, unlike antibiotics where it's just going after anything it can get, this stuff will kill the bad stuff and leave the good. So that's a gift in itself. I brought it up before ancient nutrients. I found a vitamin D that I like because it's natural. It's got a lot of different things in there that are, um, it's not synthetic. So it's more from foods and types of things like that. And so vitamin D, who doesn't need that when we're in Minnesota? Or I'm sorry, you can be anywhere. I forget that. But yeah, vitamin D is just, everybody needs it. It helps build the immune system as well. Lysine, lysine can really help if you have Epstein-Barr for sure. Um, basically what it does is it levels out if you have too many arginine um, type foods, peanuts, um, chocolate, any of that type of stuff's got high arginine, this lysine will balance it out so that you're not getting those cold sores and getting these um, nervous attacks from the shingle type activity that goes on underneath with the Sepstein bar. Um, I'm jumping around a lot, I know, trying not to. Um, I've been using this Calm, which is a magnesium powder. I take about a teaspoon of that a day and it, you know, we lose our magnesium with any kind of person that has uh, overgrowth of Lyme and different things going on in their bodies. Um, these bacteria feed off your magnesium. So you need to replace it somehow if you can, you know, and if you can't afford it, just do what you can do. This is chaga. I brewed this up. I have little pieces that I can take right off of a tree up here. But um, if you don't have that ability, you can go to a co-op and they have chaga in capsules and they have chaga that you can brew yourself. And this, um, yes, double check to make sure that there's no side effects that affect your medications. But this here will boost your immune system as well. And it kills a lot of different bacteria, and it can really be good for your immune system. So I'm going to put everything that I do in the notes um, down in the description box, but I wanted to bring it to everybody's attention that my way of doing this 
is so much better now because I can't afford, I even can't afford to go to a naturopath and figure it out and have them test me all the time. I like to test my food. I test everything with this, you know, every day I say, okay, do I need more water? No, not right now. I must be hydrated. And we can ask these questions about the foods we eat, uh, the exercises that we're going to do. You can ask questions, yes or no to anything and just really listen to what your answer is and it will come to you. So that's my, um, my update for now. I'm going to be making another video as soon as this knee pain or knee cracking is completely gone, but literally it is cut in half, if not more already. And so I'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching. And I hope this helps somebody. Please pass it on. If it helps you, it might help somebody else too. Have a wonderful day.